Spreading a message of love is a big part of honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy today. It's that positive message that one local man is trying to spread as he works to make the community better. And he sat down with Channel 9's Glenn Counts to talk about his work and how he is inspired by Dr. King. Charles Robinson is a man who brings light to the darkness. I'm teaching kids, you can be everything you want to be. For the last 14 years, Robinson has been working with Charlotte's poor and dispossessed and young people who are at risk. You know, opportunity changes things. Yeah, so this is going to be the community hub that we're uh, working on. This home in Hidden Valley um, is one of Robinson's current projects. Once it's renovated, it will be used to help kids with job training. I don't want to just come in and say, you know, do better, you know, that's it. No. I need to be able to put you in a position where you can be successful. Volunteers have donated clothes and books, and there will be a commercial kitchen and a shower. So that some of our folk that are coming in, um, that are in transition, can get clean and get ready to go to work. Robinson um, strongly believes spaces, that not everyone big, gets an opportunity. Space. And if you are a young African-American man who has gotten locked up, it can be especially tough. You know, for a long time I was fighting and arguing with the police saying you're locking these kids up, you're not giving them a chance. But times change, and with an epidemic of black-on-black -black crime in Charlotte, Robinson feels differently. And now I'm saying, wait a minute, you're letting too many of the shooters loose. One of Robinson's so, biggest influences, Dr. Martin Luther King. That was King's message. The only thing that can change hate is love. You can't meet it with hate. While Dr. King fought centuries of entrenched racism, Robinson is still fighting its legacy, part of which, he says, is a criminal justice system that has disenfranchised millions. When you think about um, that 13th Amendment, why, are you a slave? You want to go back to being, go back? How do you go back? What does that felony represent? So Robinson's you know, message a sounds a lot like the police don't break the law. If I can show you a way to put that pistol down and not sell that dope. What Robinson is selling is hope, that, grounded in garden, love, which is just open. like his hero, Dr. King. If I could get more people to tell somebody else that I love you and, and, and actually reach out instead of locking the door and running in fear, you know, we could change things in Charlotte. In Charlotte, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.